Architecture of Casablanca The architecture of Casablanca is diverse and historically significant. Casablanca, Morocco's economic capital, has a rich urban history and is home to many notable buildings in a variety of styles. Throughout the 20th century, architecture and urban development in Casablanca evolved in a way that was simultaneously specific to the city's context and consonant with international ideas. Antha, as the settlement in what is now Casablanca was known, was built by the Romans according to the description del Africa of Leo Africanus. The city is located at the mouth of Wadi Buscura on the Atlantic Ocean in the Kalia Plain, known as Tamisna under the Bargawata. It was destroyed by the earthquake of 1755 and rebuilt by Sultan Mohammed Roman III of Morocco, who employed European architects, and it was renamed Addar al Beda al Dr al Byd. The Escala, the Medina walls, and the two oldest mosques date back to this period. The 1906 Algeciras Conference gave the French holding company La Compagnie Marocaine permission to build a modern port in Casablanca. The French bombardment of Casablanca the following year destroyed much of the city, which at the time consisted of the Medina, the Mela Jewish Quarter, and an area known as Teenager. One of the first French constructions was a clock tower, in the likeness of a minaret, an early example of a style called neo moresque which would characterize much of Casablanca's architecture in the early colonial period, particularly civic and administrative buildings. Under the French protectorate officially established in 1912, the resident general Hubert Lyotte employed Henry Prost in the urban planning of Casablanca. Prost's radio-centric plan divided the city into the Ville Indigene, where the Moroccans would live, and a Ville Nouvelle for the Europeans fanning out to the east. Many buildings in Art Nouveau and Art Deco were designed by architects such as Marius Boyer in the Ville Nouvelle through the 1930s, while the French colonial apparatus experimented with the urban planning of neighborhoods such as the Hubis and the Bowspear. The Paquibot style or streamline modern which architects such as Edmund Brion embraced in the 1930s indicated a transition toward modern architecture. In the 1940s, Mitchell Akacher took over urban planning and focused on a linear plan with industrial development to the east and housing projects to address overpopulation, such as those at Carriers Centrales. He led the group Des Architects Moderns Marocaines Gamma, which revolutionized modernist architecture at the 1953 International Congress of Modern Architecture by emphasizing the importance of considering local culture and climate in addition to modernist architecture. This approach is called vernacular modernism. Eli Azaghiri became the first Moroccan modernist architect and led the Gamma after Morocco's independence from France in 1956. He and his colleague Jean Francois Zavaco were among the most important architects in Casablanca in the later 20th century. They, along with Abdislam Fariahoui and Patrice de Maziers, experimented with brutalist architecture. The architecture of Casablanca at the turn of the 20th century was influenced by the politics of neoliberalism. Traditional Moroccan Casablanca retains many authentic examples of traditional Moroccan architecture, particularly within the city walls of the historic Medina of Eddar al Beda. There are a number of Adraham Mausolea, including those of Sidi Al al Karawani. Casablanca was one of a number of cities, including Essayahuira, Marrakesh, and Rabat, that were revitalized after the earthquake of 1755. The Sultan was known to have used European architects, such as Theodore Cornat and Ahmed El Inglizi, in his projects. The Escala Bastion and the two oldest mosques in the city, the Mosque of the Maxon and the Walad El Hamra Mosque, were built during Sultan Mohammed ben Abdallah's renovations to the city. The city's population grew under the protege system as Europeans settled in the city and with the migration of Jews from the interior of the country. In 1886, Ilyssi Recluse described Casablanca as a European coastal settlement and desolate and extremely unhealthy. In his 1900 map of the city, Dr. Frederick Wastjerver identified three main parts, the Medina, the Mela, and the Teenager Huts. Casablanca hosted a Caesaria, 
Fondux, and a fresh produce market along the Wadi Bauskura stream at what is now the United Nations Square. The Medina was largely destroyed in the French bombardment of 1907, though several important buildings remain. Colonial Architecture The oldest European structure in Casablanca was an abandoned prison allegedly built by the Portuguese, arcades of which now decorate the Arab League Park. The Church of San Buenaventura, now the Buenaventura Cultural Center, was built in the Medina by the Spanish community of Casablanca in 1890. In 1900, Casablanca had four consulates and 13 vice consulates, which replaced others in Mazagan al Jadida, Rabat, and Magador Eseo Uira. Many of these consulates were built along the waterfront. The first of these was the British Consulate, established in 1857. The German consulate, originally built as the Belgian consulate in 1900, became the Omar Ibn Abdelaziz primary school in 1919. The original clock tower, erected by Charles Marshal Joseph de Signy in 1910, was the first structure built by the French after the bombardment and invasion of Casablanca in 1907. French Protectorate Throughout the decades of the French Protectorate 1912-1956, the urban development of Casablanca was first and foremost driven by French economic interests. The city was designed with automotive traffic and eventual industrial complexes such as the port and railroad lines in mind. Casablanca is boldly constructing new projects that Paris is too timid to try. Prost's plans plan Casablanca became a laboratory for the principles of urbanisme d'avant-garde, including a trenchant division and complete disassociation between the Medina and the Ville European. For the colonial administration, the Moroccan Medina was at once a breeding ground of disease to be contained, an antiquity of the past with oriental charm to be preserved, and a refuge for would-be insurgents to be squelched. Henry Prost, General Lyotis' hand-picked urban planner, designed the Ville European or Ville Nouvelle of Casablanca as a new town. The plan was radio-concentric, like Paris. The main streets radiated southeast, from the port, the Medina, and the South Caber, a LSWQLK by a Grand Market, which became place de France and is now United Nations Square. This square linked the Medina, the Mela, and the Ville European. Hippolyte Joseph de Laporte designed the first two major buildings to mark the square, the Paris Maroc Stores 1914 and the Neo Moresque Hotel Excelsior 1918. The former represented the colonial powers' conquest of Morocco and commerce in Morocco, and Claude Farris said of the latter that meetings of stock exchange, finance, and commerce took place exclusively in the four cafes surrounding it. The Central Market 1917 by Pierre Bousquet was built at the site of the Casablanca Fair of 1915. In 1917, Casablanca became the second city in the world, after New York's 1916 zoning resolution, to adopt a comprehensive urban plan. Hubis In 1916, four years after the official establishment of the French Protectorate, Prost and his team decided to build a new Velleville, indigene now known as the Hubis a new Medina near the Sultan's Palace to the east of the new center. The planners attempted to blend features of a traditional Moroccan city with modern standards of sanitation and urban planning. Bowspear In the 1920s, the colonial administration created a courtier reserve prostitution quarter south of the Hubis that came to be known as Bowspear. It was inspired by the Yashawara in Tokyo and operated by a private company called La Cressonier. Albert Laprade first set up a rectangular area with an orthogonal street layout, while August Cadet and Edmund Brion manipulated traditional Moroccan forms employed in the Hubis. It was a walled-off enclosure containing 175 residences, eight cafes, and a dispensary, with regulated movement uniquely through a guarded gate. Up to 700 women Muslims and Jews lived in this veritable prison. The colonists marketed the courtier reserve to tourists with Orientalist imagery until it was shut down in 1954. Art Nouveau, Art Deco, and Neo Moorish, Neo Moorish, Neo Moorish. In addition to Henry Prost, 
Albert Laprade, Marius Boyer, August Cadet, and Edmund Briand were some of the early planners and architects of the city. The former administrative square, now Mohammed V Square, is surrounded by buildings in a style called Neo Moorish, which combines Moro Andalusi and Art Deco architecture. One of the first buildings to employ this style was Hotel Excelsior, built 1912 1914. It was also used in the old abattoirs, an industrial slaughterhouse renovated by Prost in 1922. Neo Moorish elements were also present in private palaces and residences such as the Glayui building. A patent style was often used in colonial administrative buildings, such as Wilaya Building in Makamat Al Pasha in the Hubis, with whitewashed lime plaster and green roof tiles. The Arab League Park, formerly called Park Layoti, is the city's largest public park. On its edge is the Sacred Heart Church of Casablanca. It is no longer in use for religious purposes, but it is open to visitors and is a splendid example of neo-Gothic architecture. The French government described Casablanca as a laboratory of urbanism. Morocco's permanent delegation to UNESCO submitted a nomination file to get Casablanca's 20th century architecture classified as a World Heritage Site. Casse Noir is an organization that has been working to protect and promote this architectural heritage since 1995. Modernism and Brutalism Streamline modern, or Paquabat style, with the aesthetic of ocean liners is present in the Bendahan building, Phyllis Paque, the Liberty Building, and others. Edmund Briand's Bendahan Building, completed in 1935, was an early example. Casablanca was an early site of Americanization due to the Allied landing during Operation Torch in 1942. Casablanca rather resembles a Frenchman's idea of Chicago, complete with skyscrapers and galleries laughing it. A Cotchard's Plan, Chard's Plan, Plan, Chard's Plan. Mitchell A. Cotchard, Director of Urban Development from 1946-1953, changed Casablanca's urban plan from Prost's radio-concentric system to a linear system, with expanded industrial zones stretching east through Ain Subo toward Fedola. There was a focus on managing the city's rapid, rural exodus-driven urbanization through the development of social housing projects. Gamma At the 1953 Congress Internationalx d'Architecture Modern Siam, at that Afrique, the Africa branch of Atelier des Batisseurs founded in 1947 by figures including Le Corbusier, Vladimir Bodiansky, and André Wojinsky prepared a study of Casablanca's by Donville's entitled Habitat for the Greatest Number. Georges Candelis and Mitchell Acotchard, the presenters, argued against the doctrine that architects must consider local culture and climate in their designs. This generated great debate among modernist architects around the world and eventually provoked a schism. A Cotchard's collective of modernist architects was called Group des Architects Moderns Maritimes Gamma and initially included the architects George Candelis, Alexis Jozik, and Shadrach Woods. In the early 1950s, a Cotchard commissioned Gamma to design housing that provided a culturally specific living tissue for laborers and migrants from the countryside. Semiramis, mid de bale honeycomb, and carriers centrails were some of the first examples of this vernacular modernism. This was the first time the French protectorate built housing for the colonized rather than the colonizers, and it did so to suppress the Moroccan nationalist movement, particularly after the 1952 protests following the assassination of the labor unionist Farhat Hatched, which were centered in the Baidonville of carriers centrails, now Hay Mohammadi. A Cotchard's 8-meter model, designed to address Casablanca's issues with overpopulation and rural exodus, was pioneering in the architecture of collective housing. Eli Azaguri, the first Moroccan modernist architect, led Gamma after Morocco regained its independence in 1956. Azaguri, young, controversial, and an outspoken communist, was active in Hay Hassani designing sites, modular public housing units, that combined elements of modern and vernacular architecture taking local culture and lifestyles into account. He and colleagues such as Jean-Francois Zabaco 
were also involved in designing experimental private villas in neighborhoods in western Casablanca such as Anfa and Ain Diab with inspiration from Richard Neutra and Oscar Nee. Villa Suisa now converted into a pole cafe. Villa Bankerain, Villa Kmembert, and Villa Azaguri are examples. This generation of independence architects were inspired by the schools of Le Corbusier, Richard Neutra, Walter Gropius, Oscar Niemeyer, and others. Their architecture and the work of Jean Franco Zabaco in particular was experimental, as evidenced in constructions such as the Vincent Timzit workshops or the Son of Moss. Schools As access to education was tightly controlled under the French protectorate, the educational system in Morocco became a focal point. Mitchell Ragon noted that only half of the Moroccan population had access to formal education and so many new schools were built. Their architecture reflected a re-examination of the constitution of school campuses and classrooms. Zavoko built schools in brutalist style, such as the Theophile Gautier School and the Titmelo Rehabilitation Center. Azaguri, too, innovated in his designs for the Longchamp School and the Roches Moors School, now the Ibrahim Raudoni School, experimenting with patios and re-examining the traditional layout of a classroom. He also drew on his experiences in Europe and experimented with contrast in materials and lighting. France persisted in its cultural involvement in Morocco through the Mission Universitaire et Culturelle Franquise au Maroc, which built the Ernest Renan School 1957 and the Bizet School 1960, as well as public schools such as the Racine School 1951 and the City Offman School 1973. Public Facilities As the economy transformed, industrial buildings, such as the Postal Sorting Center at Mohammed Deary Square and the City Off Main Wholesale Market 1976-79 of Abdeslam Fariahui and Patrice de Maziers were constructed according to new brutalist principles of minimalism and efficiency. Murad Ben Imberk designed the Mohammed V International Airport and the Atlas Tower. Under Hassan Roman II, Casablanca went through two major neo hosmanian projects, the Hassan Roman II Mosque and the Royal Avenue Project. Neoliberal Architecture Conrad Bagert discusses recent urban projects in Casablanca in their relationship to the politics of neoliberalism. Ville's Sands by Donville's is a UN Habitat program established in the aftermath of the 2003 Casablanca bombings for the resettlement of slum dwellers. It works with organizations such as Al Amrain, Idmaj Sakin, Dr. El Mansur, and the agents Urbane de Casablanca. Casa Marina, Anfa Park, and Casinar Shore are business parks for offering. The neighborhood of the former Casablanca Anfa Airport transformed into Casablanca Finance City, part of a 2010 economic initiative oriented towards sub Saharan African nations. Morphosis Architects designed the Casablanca financed city tower with its textured aluminum facade. The French architecture firm Reichen et Robert is involved in this project as well as the Zanata Eco site. Notable buildings and structures Government and municipal As the economic capital of Morocco, Casablanca is home to many government and municipal buildings. These buildings include but are not limited to Palace of Justice QSRLDL at Palais de la Justice, Wilaya Building MQRLWLY at La Siege de la Wilaya, designed by Marius Boyer, Arius Boyer, Arius Boyer, Arius Boyer, Arius Boyer, Arius Boyer, the Post Office in KTV Elbrid, Bureau de Posts, 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 Bank Al Maghreb VNKLMGRB, Old Abattoirs. Religious Buildings Casablanca is home to many religious buildings as part of its diverse heritage. Synagogues Ikedwi Synagogue Beth El Synagogue Mosques Hassan Roman II Mosque, designed by Mitchell Pinso.
Alcuit's mosque, formerly a neo-Gothic church called Eglise de Saint Marguerite, son of mosque designed by Jean Francois Zavaco. Churches: Church of San Buenaventura, Church of the Sacred Heart, 1930-1953, designed by Paul Turnon, Notre Dame de Lourdes Church. Education. Casablanca is home to a number of academic institutions, including Lycee Ibn Tamart 1929, designed by Georges Jean Grell, Lycee Lyotti. Transportation Casa Port Railway Terminal, Casa Voyagers Railway Station, Casablanca Titmelo Airport, Mohammed V International Airport, Cinemas and Theatres. Cinema Rialto, Rialto, Cinema Links, Cyname Empire, Cinema ABC, 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 Cinema Vox, Grand Theatre of Casablanca, Municipal Theatre of Casablanca, 1922 minus 1984. Residential Buildings, Apartment Buildings, Merit Building, Liberty Building, Building, rebuilding, rebuilding, Incoma Building, Merchel Amesian Complex, Flowey Building, Assay Building, Private Villas, Villa Zavaco, Villa Camembert, Villa Suisa, Villa Azaguri, Villa Makri, Sports, Mohammed V Athletic Complex, Larby Benberg Stadium, La Casablanca, Velodrome de Casablanca, Municipal Baths of Casablanca demolished, Skyscrapers, Scrapers, Liberty Building, Building, Rebuilding, Rebuilding, Atlas Tower, Habis Tower, Novotel, Sofitel, Twin Center, Casablanca Financed City Tower, Preservation of Architectural Heritage, Cassain War is an organization dedicated to the promotion and protection of Casablanca's architectural heritage. MAMA is dedicated to the appreciation and protection of Casablanca's modernist and brutalist architecture.